Good evening, guys. It's a night session at candlelight. I want to make a video of value to you and I'm not so sure I have a lot of value to offer I'm also just trying to make money and in every video I make I'm ex sharing why I do the things I do uh, but I can be very wrong and um, market uh, the market uh, as an investor you try to be uh, ahead of the market and uh, value something that the market doesn't value yet but will value in the future but uh, that's not an easy task the market um, may choose differently and um, uh, very often things just go wrong and the market justifiably ignores your investment um, but I think if you push long enough you will have a hit but you really have to believe in yourself and continue to stand up after you get beaten down again and again and then you will make it sooner or later if you don't die in the process um, I mean Yeah, I mean, you can't even control when you die, so so it's not like you will make it for sure, certainly not, but, uh, but yeah, I see a lot of things that I've dreamt about in the past happen, um, but I never got to making it happen myself. For example, I was at the t and now I'm talking ten years ago, thinking of a game to um, where people would use their mobile phones to um, hunt for each other. Um, but they would use uh, the mobile. Uh, there wasn't, there were no smartphones yet. But mobile phones had, um, well there were ways to get your coordinates where you were and based on the uh, and I was thinking of a game like that I thought it would be a great success but I didn't have the self-confidence to push through and make it happen today five to ten years later you have such a craze about the Pokemon game which is also about um, hey, being motivated to go into the streets and to search for things I, I did search for people but here they do search for uh, objects that spawn. Um, many people have tried such games. Pokemon really is a big hit, but many others have tried similar things too. Um, but yeah. Um, and also I thought of a game, I called it Zwapaland. I made a whole design um, where people would be able to make things with clouds. It was like people. Uh, cartoony animals that lived in the clouds um, a little bit like the Care Bears and they could like uh, with the clouds create um, homes and 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 that's what's happened uh, at the other very 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 popular game I don't know the name but you can build with little blocks all kind of stuff eh? 
it's very very successful yeah I mean but this all happened five to ten years later uh, that someone became very rich with that um, I didn't do it but I thought of something like that and if I would have um, put all my energy into it and attract capital to make it happen sooner or later I would have had a hit in that area possibly eh? um, and um, Yeah, I think the same is true for cryptocurrency. Um, it just that it takes so long that it's very hard to persevere and to, um, to, 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 to stay the course. But I have to say that I uh, admire the NXT team, uh, Jean-Luc and Lior, and then you also have Damelon and Bas. Um, I've been very critical uh, of them a couple of months ago uh, because the bear market <laughs> was just um, became too much for me and I started to really doubt whether they were doing things right but now that the price has gone up um, again uh, I have to say that uh, they did well uh, by trying to reinvent uh, NXT uh, uh, you you have to continue to try things as an entrepreneur you will fail continue to fail um, but if you try it a different way that's the only thing you can do and then you make a chance of hitting hitting the ballpark hitting it the same happened for Bitcoin Bitcoin wasn't the first where many other um, digital uh, currencies um, one of them was called BitGold uh, not much uh, a few couple of years before Bitcoin eh? but it missed certain elements and it didn't uh, happen for BitGold uh, but but probably the same author um, tried it again and created then Bitcoin with um, and added something else to it that uh, that made it happen. I think the mining was added. Um, that was the difference with bit gold, but I don't know. I didn't study that. But um, and and for NXT, well, they are also really trying to find a market. Huh? They and they've tried so much. It is very impressive in how much they tried, and also very impressive how much they failed, and very impressive how they continue to try. Huh? So the first thing they tried was um, messaging, yeah? uh, encrypted messaging. Um, well, it's not a success because you have to pay one NXT, so it will never be a mass market application. It's used by some people, but it's not a killer app. And then they tried uh, the asset exchange, decentralized asset exchange. Well, today I think. I have to also admit that it wasn't a success. A lot of assets were launched, but not a single asset has been created as a successful company today. It may still happen. It's all long-term processes, but up until today, it's practically the most functional decentralized exchange. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is the mo what matters is, is it successful, is it being used, adopted, is adoption growing, and that's not the case. And the user-friendly interface, a secure asset exchange uh, developer, some other people has been taken down. So it's a struggle, eh? it's been a source of a lot of basically NXT uh, being taken by um, people that created assets and, and haven't delivered on the upon them. So. Um, they tried a monetary system a few coins have been created one of them is running not Notilius coin but it hasn't been a, a success uh, other than that and even Notilius coin is not really used it's still also all based on uh, speculation the value of that coin um, but and, and many other things have been tried too the marketplace the centralized marketplace hasn't been a successful aliases is not really used um, uh, yeah so 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 but and what they are now going to do is order 
uh, which is um, is basically the monetary system, uh, but done much better. Eh? The problem with the monetary system was that you had to pay your transaction fees. Eh? You, st you start your own currency, but you have to still, if people want to s say you start your own currency called uh, Zippos, uh, and you give people Zippos, free Zippos, well, if they want to send Zippos to each other, they still need NXT to do a transaction. So, of course, that was not uh, user-friendly enough and not adopted widely. But um, that won't be the case with the Ardor. You will be able to uh, launch your own currency and people will, if, if they call for a Zippo currency, they will be able to trade it, pay the transaction fee with uh, Zippos and you can even make it so that they, they don't have to pay a transaction fee uh, as long as you, as the Zippo creator, pay uh, the Ardor, uh, the fees, um, to validate the transactions all as well and you do have to pay those fees in NXT but that's behind the scene eh? your clients won't see that the currency users won't see that so that certainly is much better and um, um, yeah I, I do think um, it's the right focus I mean it's worth it's definitely worth a try Launching your own currency, it has a lot of future. It is also legally a very interesting thing to do because, I mean, that's not, there are very little laws eh, yet for cryptocurrency. So you have a lot, like, I, you can start your own cryptocurrency without breaking uh, security laws, but you can't launch your own asset without breaking security law, law, laws somewhere. So, so 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 that's also uh interesting that's that's good but i mean launching your own currency i'm interested to do that but practically that's not so easy if you do a copy of bitcoin that's uh, a mass eh? you, you will be 51 percent attacked unless you change then the algorithm but then uh, uh it's just It's a very expensive way to run a currency if you do it on pre based on proof of work. Uh, you lose a lot of the value of the currency to people that validate transactions. That's really not necessary. Uh, and, and, and NXT proved that with proof of stake. But um, yeah, and it's also uh, so so you can like secure it, validate transactions much cheaper and, and secure it much cheaper and. That uh, of course uh, very important. Uh, so, uh, so 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 NXT allows you to launch a currency that way, um, but you could just fork a proof of stake currency. Uh, why do you need order? Well, because forking that's one thing, but w once you fork, you have to maintain. Uh, cons software needs to continually be worked on it's not something that you fork once and then it's finished no you continually need to work on that and um cryptocurrency software needs to be written very securely and and it's not so easy to do um usually programmers you can abuse software in many ways software that's written in a normal way and cryptocurrency software needs to be written um just airtight huh? and so you continually need to work continue to work on that too especially if you add features huh? um, um, it's very hard to uh, yeah it's just a, a lot of work and if you I want to might launch my own currency but if I can just use ready-made software uh, that will of course I prefer that much more than have to find such an experts uh, to build my own cryptocurrency and then also the validating of the network securing of the network i'm not interested to create a decentralized network of uh, validators eh? uh, uh, but that's what you get with ardor eh? these people there will be a lot of validators that will validate your in a decentralized way your transactions uh, and so that's why you also have to pay them in uh, nxt or whatever the name of the it will be ardor the coin probably so, 
but you know I'm, I'm very happy to do that it makes a lot of sense that um, uh, to launch your cryptocurrency that way so Ardor does make if they do things well if they make it easy enough to use uh, then they make a good chance to be um, the preferred platform to launch your own cryptocurrency this is all speculation uh, but the advantage of uh, betting on uh, this is that the NXT team has in the past proven to deliver eh? of course a lot of the features were not user friendly enough eh? um, and I think that's also partly why it didn't catch on but it's not just that like I think the decentralized asset exchange was friendly enough, user friendly enough especially when the secure asset exchange was built on top of it and still it didn't really catch on so it's not uh, it's not always the entrepreneur's fault why things don't uh, don't catch on uh, often it's just not the right time or um, um, it's just not what people really want eh? so but you know as an investor I'm learning that the best thing you can find you know investing in entrepreneurs that have an immediate hit that's very rare you can be it's a very good if you can invest in people that don't throw you to the curb uh, that don't give up eh? because that's very often happens entrepreneurs they try something and it doesn't happen and your money is uh, finished and voila they start something else and, and, and the investor loses everything this could have happened with NXT too um, and um, luckily it didn't uh, the Jean-Luc and Liar and Damelon and uh, Dave they're all continuing to work on it and, and, and there has been some dilution with Ardor uh, uh, it is planned that half of the like the Ardor tokens they go to NXT holders one on one but there will also be a child chain and um, and that there half of the tokens will go to the development and marketing team so there is some dilution but that's normal when a project doesn't catch on um, and entrepreneurs will attract new capital and um, and if they are yeah uh, that's and, and existing shareholders get diluted that's normal um, but if you're getting diluted only with 25% as is the case here um, that's um, a pretty good deal for a, for a project that hasn't really um, found the traction that it needs to be a success eh? um, so uh, my, I've been I've become more positive towards this project again um, and I want to apologize also to Jean-Luc and Dior and Damlon and uh, yeah especially them uh, for being overly critical a couple of months ago yeah and uh, thanks so much for continuing to work uh, hard on it I really appreciate it bye guys <laughs>